In this tutorial, we'll talk about theoretical probability. The theoretical probability, the probability of event A happening, uh, is a mathematical calculation based on, you need to know two things, the number of favorable outcomes, which is called NA, the number of A in set A, uh, and the uh, you divide that by the total number of possible outcomes, the number in the sample space, that's what S stands for. So the probability, of, the theoretical probability of A happening is the number of events in event A uh, divided by the size of the sample space. So the sample space is the collection of all possible out outcomes. So here's an example of a sample space. Uh, if you roll a normal, normal six-sided die, the sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, an event is a set of outcomes that have some kind of a common characteristic. So for example, here's an example of an event. Event A could be the uh, event that you get odd numbers from the six-sided die. So the event A would contain the uh, the outcomes 1, 3, and 5. A common sample space that you'll encounter much of the time when you're studying probability is the number way that two dice can be rolled and their top face is added, which is what you do in a lot of board games. So for example, uh, Monopoly being one of them, for example. So this is the called the two dice table. And so there's uh, this. This is the rolling of one dice: one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six here. And so one, one add to two. Okay, so that is the sum of two. So for example, if you rolled a three on one, and a four on the other, three and four add to seven. So that's why that's a seven right there. So two is the lowest possible roll. Twelve is the highest because if you get six on each dice, six and six add to twelve. So. We're going to find the probability of each of the following happening. So rolling a sum of 6. So a sum of 6, these are all the sums of 6. So you get a, uh, a 1 and a 5, a 2 and a 4, a 3 and a 3. This would be a 4 on one dice, 2 on the other, and a 5 on one, and a 1 on the other. So notice if you count them, there are five ways of that happening. So the probability of a sum of 6 occurring is the number of ways that a sum of six can occur divided by the size of the sample space. Now, uh, there's 36 possible outcomes here because there's six ways to roll each dice. Six times six is 36. So that's why the uh, size of the sample space is 36. The number of ways you can get a sum of six, there are five of them, so it's five chances in 36. Now, a lot of times we'll actually use a single letter to represent this. I'm just doing this sum of six and writing it out just for the sake of this particular tutorial to make it a little bit more explicit what exactly we're doing here. Uh, in B, rolling snake eyes. Now, snake eyes, get rid of the sixes, is um, getting a, a one in each dice. In, in other words, getting a sum of two. So the probability of rolling a sum of two would just be one chance in 36 because there's only one favorable outcome out of all 36. Now the probability rolling doubles, that's doubles actually, uh, two twos, two threes, two fours, two fives, or two sixes. So there's actually six ways to get doubles. Okay, so two sixes add to 12, two fours add to eight. So the probability of uh, rolling a double, doubles, is six chances in 36, which, and you can divide both those by six, that reduces to one chance in six. Now, the probability of not rolling doubles, you could add them all up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and there would be 15 more up here. So the probability of not rolling doubles would be 30 out of 36. And you can divide both of those by 6 to get 5 out of 6. Now, notice that these two events, rolling doubles and not rolling doubles, those two probabilities add to 1. 1, 6 plus 5, 6 is 6, 6, or 1. And a little bit about those two events. They're, they have a specific name, kind the kind they are. The events doubles and not doubles, they have nothing in common. You can't get a roll that's both a double and not a double. Okay, so they have no events in common whatsoever. Uh, but together, they, they include all 36 possible outcomes. See, these are all the doubles. And then the ones that aren't circled are all the ones that aren't doubles. And together, they make the entire sample space. 
So those two events are called complements. And if, if I called A the event of getting a double, then not doubles would be a complement. There's a little prime there. So note, notice that the probability of A plus the probability of the complement of A is equal to 1 always. Uh, last page, a little bit about odds here. You can calculate the odds in favor of something happening and also the odds against something happening. So the odds in favor of event A is the probability of A occurring divided by the probability of its complement. And the odds against is just the reciprocal, the probability of A complement divided by the probability of A. In example two, it says find the odds in favor of getting doubles when rolling two dice. The doubles we talked about in the last example. So the probability of, say, odds in favor using this uh, formula here, the probability of it happening divided by the probability of its complement. So from the previous page, the probability of getting doubles was one chance in six. The probability of getting of not getting doubles was five chance in six. And we're dividing two fractions here. So we take the uh, top fraction and multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. I'm going to show you a shortcut for that in a moment. So we're multiplying, since we're dividing by five, six, we're multiplying by six-fifths, the reciprocal of this. So one times six is six, six times five is thirty, and that will we can divide both of those by six, so it reduces to one chance in five. Now a little bit of a shortcut for that. Notice these two denominators are both the same. You actually can just divide those out and then see the answer is one over five. So if you notice those two denominators are the same, that's a quick way to get the one-fifth. So the odds in favor of getting doubles is one in five or one to five as a as a ratio. Uh, last example here, a hockey analyst predicts the chance of the Stanley Cup champions repeating next year is 40 percent. So you're asked what are the odds in favor of this event? So we're so if we call A the uh, event that it happens. The probability of A is uh, 40%, so it's 0 0.40, which would be uh, 4 to 10, or if we reduce that to 2 fifths. So the probability of uh, it, uh, the odds in favor, probability of A would be 2 fifths, the probability of A complement would be 3 fifths. You see, uh, if we subtract 2 fifths from 1, we get 3 fifths. Or you could say if the, the chance of it happening is 40%, the chance of it not happening is 60%. This is 60%. 3 out of 5, if you divide 3 by 5, that is 60%. And we can just demonstrate that with my calculator here. 3 divided by 5 is the 60%. Okay, 0 0.60. Multiply by 100, there's the 60%. So, the... Uh, Fives divide out, so we get uh, two-thirds. So the uh, odds in favor of the Stanley Cup champions repeating next year is uh, two to three. And that's the end of the tutorial.